Oh, hey there. Didn't notice you just doing my physio exercises. I know. This should be rated mature. Can you see that I haven't shaved my legs? I really hope that you can. Hello, doctors, my old friend. What is happening? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Missa. I don't usually look this ugly, but I got no makeup on. It's a lie, I got tinted lip balm on and a lot of makeup relish and skin finish to try and make myself look healthy, because I'm not. I planned on looking really good this, like to intro this video by the doctors first thing this morning. Fell asleep at 4am, so I had less than three hours sleep. So if you have been keeping up with my videos, I have just done a week, well five days of declutters and um, my brutal declutter series. My niece is actually coming around tomorrow to have her, her pick of what she wants for my makeup that I'm getting rid of. I've gotten rid of, I would say 50 to 60% of my makeup collection. Very good things. I know it's very unfashionable to be not someone that hoards makeup when you're like a beauty channel but i've had a total mind shift and i don't want to be a gross excessive person when it comes to my makeup collection so if you haven't seen those videos then they will be listed down in the description box down below and today as you can see with the title <laughs> finally getting to it i'm just talking we are going to be doing a like beauty room tour makeup collection I just want to preface this by saying I live in a rented flat and I'm not spending money on doing up the flat because I pay a horrible amount of money for rent. You live here and I'm not going to replace the carpet or paint the walls, although I did try very badly. And also, number two, I have terrible interior decoration skills. So there is almost none and I don't have a third point and um, so yeah I'm going to show you all my collection my room my setup how I film I will list everything in the description box and where you can buy it if I remember and um, if you have any questions you can just let me know down in the comments I tried to time this so my meds would not have kicked in for me doing this intro but <laughs> I have a feeling that they have Anyway, I am fannying around way, way too much. If you want to see my makeup collection and room tour, then just keep watching. How in the France have I just filmed for five minutes and 25 seconds? It's an intro. So this is what my beauty room looks like when you come in the door. Sorry if it's really noisy with wind. It's very windy out there. So yeah, when you come straight in, my desk is straight in front of you. Um, I have the Ikea Alex drawers. I've got three sets of the drawers. We'll look at them closer, obviously. And I have a ring light. Where is my finger pointing? Just here. I got it on Amazon. It is linked down in my description box, are, as are my two umbrella lights as well. They were super cheap years and years and years ago, like 30 pounds maybe. I also have a chair, a pink chair, it's from Amazon. I got it recently because my other chair was just like a plastic cheap Ikea one and I needed something with a bit more cushion for the cushion. Well, actually because my back's sore and I have a big thick pillow on the chair because my back's sore. I also have a monitor just here which is what I use when I'm filming like close up eye tutorials because it, my camera goes in and out of focus really badly for some reason i can't work out how to not do it so i have the monitor for that and in the corner just beside my desk just to the left of it i've got this chair i got it in tk max it was about 80 pounds or so and i've got a little pre-mark fluffy cushion on it because i thought that's what you do and yeah just on the wall the only the only bit of decoration over here is a mirror which i stuck on some lights from amazon for about 16 pounds just stuck them on to try and make it look like a hollywood mirror because i'm too poor to afford to buy one and it's got like a usb not charger power thing so i've just got a spare iphone charger and i stick it in there and then i've got 
a Hollywood mirror. And the mirror is from b and I'm pretty sure. This is looking towards my doorway. I'm standing at my desk. This is my backdrop. This is what you see in all of my videos. Although I do change it around quite often. My fairy lights are from Amazon. They're just like curtain lights. Just search curtain fairy lights and a thousand will come up. I'll try, I'll link a set or two just so you don't have to do all the hard work yourself. But I really like them. I just wish they were cool instead of warm. But the amount of time it took me to get them up there, I am not changing them. And on the back of my door, just hang my dressing gown. This is a corner you don't ever see because it's like tucked right beside the window. I've got this bookshelf. If you remember this, I got it for storing my palettes before my desk broke. And now it's just got an array of things on it. I'll show you them all up closer. And then just to the left of this is the window. Quite a small window, but a window nonetheless. I do have these like curtainy drape things. Got them in TK Maxx, DKNY. Felt very fancy. They were obviously very cheap. And I put, I have like a rug down as a window seat because it is actually quite nice. It's got like a storage box and stuff below it. And sometimes when I'm feeling especially depressed, I just sit there and look outside when it's raining because I am a fun person. I think I've already discussed with you that I am a bad interior decorator. So I have this wall of, it's supposed to be a gallery wall, it's a very sad gallery wall. And Nicole, if you're seeing this and see that I have three, yes, three inspirational quotes on my wall. They were all given to me. I had frames, so I put them on my wall. Don't judge me. I'm just gonna hold you by hand for a second just to show you around a bit better and then I'll go through all of the drawers and all of the products I have. So for my backdrop unit, I picked this Ikea Malm. It's like the double width one, so it's got six drawers, which is great because I do everything in here. Like I get dressed in here, I get ready in here. This is just my kind of room, separate from Hamish. No Hamish allowed. He is allowed, but you know what I mean. Only one of these drawers has makeup in it. The rest holds my pajamas, two drawers of clothes, because I literally own no clothes. This one has spare pajamas and makeup towels in it. And then this bottom one has like straighteners, hair dryers, cables, ugly things, storage things. And on top I've got these faux flowers from TK Maxx and this like grass plant as well. That's from TK Maxx. And then I've got this candle. I actually got it in my Asda order. I didn't order it, but it arrived. And it's a three wick lime basil and mandarin candle. So I was quite happy about that. And then just here, I've got another candle. My auntie gave this to me for an engagement present. And this is a cute little coaster. This came with an ABHPR package. And then on this side, I decided to display my lipsticks behind me, which is kind of stupid when I'm filming and actually really irritating. But I've got this set of drawers. This is from Amazon and I would say it's one of the best quality, cheaper sets of drawers that I've ever got. I think it was about 20 to 30 pounds and it's really good. Also this bottom drawer is nice and wide so you could fit, deep sorry, so you could fit like bigger stuff in it. And on top I've just got one of those like classic lipstick organisers. And then at the back I've got this lip gloss organizer which I just store my ABH liquid lipsticks in. Don't actually need that many, could probably declutter some but they look very uniform in there. And then I have some books, all of which I got in TK Maxx. I used to go to TK Maxx a lot but this one is Amazon, this is in the Froze book, the new fashion rules. Haven't read it, haven't read any of these except a little bit of the Lisa Eldridge one but they look good in my background. And then I have this holder from Amazon again. I will try and link it. And it's just got all my ABH eyeshadow palettes in it that match. Just missing the Jackie I know one, but I gave that away to a friend that I thought would appreciate it more than me. So I'll just show you my kind of shelves in this corner before we go through like my products. So on top, like I said, I display my Glam Light palette because I think it looks really cool. I have, is this an Aldi candle? Aldi or Lido? I think it's Aldi and it's peony blush. And then here I have a bottle of very strong, I think raspberry, no, I don't think that's raspberry. <laughs> um, vod not vodka, I think I'm drunk. Alcohol, 
a really lovely gift from a really lovely person, Karina, and she also sent me this, which you put water in it and then you blow it like a whistle. And I still haven't played with it. And then this plant is just like a drapey plant. Pretty sure I got that at TK Maxx too. And in this top cubby hole, I've got my perfumes on this lovely little glass tray that I got at TK Maxx. <laughs> And I can't link anything from TK Maxx, but just go to TK Maxx if you can. Favourite perfume ever is Nina Ricci Red Apple. I just think it's incredible. But Hamish buys me a Jo Malone for Christmas every year, and Peony and Blush Suede is my favourite. I can't remember, actually. I almost hit the camera. I can't remember if I wore this on my wedding day or this. I think I wore Nina Ricci because it's the first smell that Hamish would associate with me. And then I've just got a few other ones in there. And then just on the next shelf down, this is just another little acrylic case. If you just search OSCO, O-S-C-O, on Amazon or eBay, they will come up. I just keep my jewellery in here. It's very handy. I have only costume jewellery, obviously, except my wedding and engagement ring, which I never actually wear, but I wore it today for some reason. And a little Barry M bag that I got in PR and then this is, I think this is the Sultry palette. This is a box of Everlasting Roses from ABH. And just below that, sorry that it's so dark, um, I've got my sentimental palettes, things I don't actually still use but want to keep. And this is like a little neon sign, I think it's quite cool. That sleek scent in PR and I think it does other things. Yeah, it flashes, see? Miss a... Ooh, 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 ooh. So, I wanted to keep that, because I had my name on it. And then on the bottom, just got some boxes, because why not? Oh, and Hamish put this up, and also updates this for me, because he's very proud of me. And then I just have this really tall mirror. It's not really tall, it's just tall, which is from B&M, or... Um, Poundland, not Poundland, Pound Stretcher. I'm a big bargain store person, I love them. And I love this mirror because the only other mirror that the flat came with is this really ugly Ikea like square ones that someone stuck on the wall and I hate it. So again, these are my umbrella lights. Super cheap, really good source of light, obviously. They just diffuse it. It makes everything look nicer and softer. If I just use the ring light, it's a little bit stern is the only way I can describe it. I've got my ring light off right now because it would blind you. It's very bright. And then my um, monitor that I got, this is just a little Samsung monitor. I think it's, I don't know, it's about 18 inches or something. It's great though for doing close up stuff. Got my makeup mirror balanced on top of a candle. And then on the right side of my desk, I keep all of my brushes. I try not to be a brush hoarder, but I am a brush hoarder. And also, obviously, I did not clean them for this video, so eh. I love brushes. Brushes bring me so much joy. It's unbelievable. Let me get that camera, camera charger. Um, especially eyeshadow brushes, which are in... I don't know where I got this. This is like a bathroom organizer. It's got little compartments and I just thought, oh, I can keep all of my eyeshadow brushes together. And then my big face brushes are in old candle, candle pots. Very handy. I don't know if you think I've got a lot or if you don't think I've got many, but yeah, there's just something about brushes that bring me Brings me a lot of joy, like I said. I really need to sit down for a second. <laughs> so beside my desk, I've got my wider Alex unit. Um, I'll show you inside in a second, but on top, I've got my favorite um, acrylic storage solutions. These are her clutter box. Hope that's focusing there. And these are like the classic four drawers. And what I like is that the bottom one is really deep, so you can fit like quite big, chunky products in there. Both of mine are empty at the moment because my declutters that I've been doing and just in my own time, I just, I get rid of stuff now. Also, when my desk broke, what was it, about five months ago or something, I had two other acrylic cases that were here, not her clutter box, they were from eBay, and they broke and smashed, but I managed to rescue two drawers out of them, which I just sat on top of here because I thought it kind of matched with the like acrylic on acrylic. 
And then this one here, I keep skincare. So I really must say I'm a huge fan of Glam Glow. Um, I'm a fan before they started sending me anything. And this moisturizer here is just the bee's knees. I think this is our hemp one. And I know Glam Glow is quite pricey, but if you want a really good moisturizer, this is fab. I would say my other favorite, if I can reach it, is this Florga one and also Peter Thomas Roth and Glam Glow, my moisture, my, what's it called? The Glow one, I'll show you it when we go through my drawers. So I really like those. I also have the Berry Glow by Glam Glow, it looks like yogurt inside. I've still not tried it because I'm actually a little scared because the last Glam Glow mask that I tried broke me out terribly. So I'm a little nervous to try this, but I do want to. I'm also really, really enjoying the Pixie Vitamin C range. I've got like the, what's it called, like the toner, the cleanser, the toner, the serum, everything. I really like that range. I really actually feel like it makes a difference to my skin immediately. I've been using it for about a month now, and I really, really, really enjoy it. And then this tub I've got like, what are they, silicone mask applicators. Heaps of those like eyebrow razors, eye creams, my brow serum that I use. I just thought it was quite a tidy way to hold them. And then if we move over, this is where I keep all my setting sprays. I'm a, I'm a lover of setting sprays, to be quite honest. I love dewy setting sprays, so Milani make it dewy. My favorite though is definitely the Glam Glow one. <laughs> it's incredible. I keep forgetting that I have this Cover FX one and I keep meaning to use it more. Oh, this one's quite nice as well. This is the Pixie Rose Glow Mist. Got the iconic London ones. What else? ABH Dewy Set. I've got the MAC Pink Light Fix Plus and a few little mini MAC ones. And then I've got quite a few Mario Badescu. I've got the Morphe settings where I really, really enjoy this. I hated this one. I thought it smelled absolutely horrible. The Jeffrey, the Joffrey, the Jeffrey Star one. I did not like it at all, but I'm keeping it because I bought it and I want to use it up. Oh, I'm really enjoying this Diego de la Palma one. I don't really use that brand on my channel a lot because I think it's stupidly expensive, but I do like it in my own time. And then over here I've just got some micellar water, just handy places to keep these things. This is the La Cura, the Aldi toner that's supposed to be a dupe of Pixie. That has a hole in the wall, don't know what it's for. This is actually the first toner I ever bought, like this, not this exact one, but this brand, The Ordinary. I'd never used a toner before that and now I just tone most nights. I would say, most nights. So while we're here, I'll just show you what's in these drawers and then we'll move on to the main drawers in my collection. This top drawer is where I keep all of my brow products. I love brow products. And if you watch my declutter, you'll know I got rid of so much. ABH are the brand I use the most. I think it's, it's mostly because I'm on their PR, so I do get sent all of their brow products, which is great. But Dip Brow is genuinely a really good product. So is their brow powder just here. Um, other brands I like are Benefit, Gimme Brow is just such a classic, it's so fab. Also, Urban Decay Brow Blade is great. Couldn't do my brows now without my weird brow tool. If you haven't seen my brow video, I've done a full like routine. And a new discovery that is not new at, in any way at all, but is super fab, is the Essence Make Me Brow. Really wish I'd bought this before now, but now I have it, so I make up for it. So that's my brow drawer that has been seriously decluttered. I'm very proud of myself for that. And this drawer here is my eyeliners. If you watch me, you know I've got a thing for colored eyeliners. So I've got all my like colored, like really fun colored ones at the back that are pencils. And then I've got these three Fenty ones here that I got in a pack. My LA Splash Glue Moss liners that I think are probably the most beautiful and like no one talks about them. They're incredible. And then here I've just got black and brown ones that are quite boring to talk about. So 
that's that and then this door here is my mascara door which i've actually got quite a few <laughs> new mascaras since we last spoke i've got this new art deco one and then from ColourPop, they sent me three more colorful ones and are they not beautiful like look at those colors so now i've got six color pop colorful mascaras and yeah i don't really have a favorite if i had to pick like life or death probably benefit bad gal bang just makes my lower lashes look incredible and then i've got my brow stuff like brow application stuff at the back glue and um what are they called pincers tweezers and then all my sharpeners just there this top drawer is a lot of fun. This is most of my glitters in it. We didn't declutter this because you couldn't pry these glitters from me. I get rid of glitters when they run out or if I really don't like them after trying them. Um, obviously, I mean, I've got to be honest, Stila glitter and glows are my favourite. They are incredible. I don't so much like the shimmers or any like thing like that, but the glitter ones are incredible. But also... Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners are redonkulously great. I love them. And I've got some of the, the chunkier ones as well. These are fun. I don't think I've used some of my eyes yet, like on my channel. Oh, and I really like these OPV ones. They've got really nice colours, a really nice fine applicator. And if you want something that's maybe not so super glittery, but really metallic and beautiful, the Barry M holographic eyeshadow toppers. They are cheap, they are cheerful, they, they, they're incredible. Like they are incredible. These give Stila, is it shimmer and glows? They blow them out the water, trust me. They're all dual chromes, they're incredible. And then I've got other ones like NYX, Ellie Splash, Pixie, things like that in there. Joyful, joyful drawer. This drawer is a bit messy. This is all my like gel liners. Well, I've got like colorful gel liners over here and more over here. I've got some of the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadows. These are so weird. They're just like a jelly consistency. They dry out so quickly. Oh, look at that color though. Oh my goodness. Can you actually see how beautiful that is? I don't think you can. That's a big, Big shame for you, because that's beautiful. <laughs> and then behind it, I've got coloured primers and non-coloured primers as well, like P. Louise, ABH, um, Makeup Revolution. I've got some eyebrow, eye, what are they called? Eyelash glues in there as well. And then, oh, I didn't really know where else to put these. I've got some of my single shadows, which are beautiful, but there is no, no one more so beautiful then dose of colours tell me more. Look at it. Just look at it. Look at it. Look, can you see it? Can you see it? It's just the most beautiful, incredible eyeshadow. And I need to stop swatching it because I'm gonna hit pan. And I can't buy anything for a long time. And then this drawer here, oh gosh. This has pigments in it, so all my favorite sample beauty pigments, I did have them all, which filled an entire drawer, and I decluttered a lot of the ones I just don't use. If you wanna buy a sample beauty pigment that will probably, upon application, kill you, then Sean Maloney. It is the most beautiful pigment I have ever seen in my life. Not saying that, because I get a discount code if you use my, my affiliate code, but, like, don't even use that code. Forget about that code, just buy that pigment. And then I have a bunch more glitters. NYX, what are they, Wet n Wild, Sleek, and Pigments, Dual Chrome Pigments, Multichrome Pigments, Blush Tribe, some ABH glitters, the ABH Glitter Adhesive. Um, I've got these Sleek pigments as well. well I, I, I think I only kept this one like that looks phenomenal and i still need to play with it so that is back there and again a bottom drawer empty i'll show you what is in my new in drawers since we're on this side of the room anyway these two drawers here are where i keep my new in stuff stuff that i still need to test so that i don't forget that i have it 
Um, this one, oh, it's a fun drawer. Sorry, I'm trying to use the tripod so that things aren't so shaky because I have to shake his hands, but I can't adjust it all the time. So I've got Juvia's Place, the foundation, the concealers, and also some powder. Got this NYX mascara yesterday. I thought I might keep it and try it. Um, a couple of foundations, L'Oreal Revlon. Sorry, Rimmel and Revlon. A Juvia's Place lip gloss. Oh, I'm excited about this. Real Techniques powder sponge. I've heard really good things about it. I've got a few palettes, like a Tarte Pro Glow. I've got this Makeup Obsession highlight palette, Barry M. Blush. Still need to try this bronzer. Oh, the Coral ABH Liquid Lip Set. I've got some more brushes in here, so some Pro Fusion brushes. And then a brush that came with the Juvia's Place foundation. Urban Decay foundation and concealer is still to try. Oh, got this as well. The Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. If you watched yesterday's declutter, you will have seen that on my eyes. I also got sent the entire Calogen Power Collection. Um, and I've tried this blush duo. This is so beautiful. This one is call the shots and i kept this one specifically to use this gorgeous peach as a like sparkly blush and then this one's really cool as well i had to keep this one because it was so unique this really intense intense red blush and this highlight it looks like i've used it a lot it's because i i was really bored the other day and i put it over my entire face don't ask questions I have the palette. Let me see. I can make things a bit messy now that I've uh, shown you it originally. Look at this palette. I mean, I need no more purples or pinks in my collection, but I am always going to support Color Drain because they are an incredible brand and their products blow so many other bigger brands out of the water. So I'm very excited to try that palette and I've got like their glitters and a few liquid lipsticks. I gave a few a few bits from that collection away already. And then this is more new and stuff um, that I still need to try. Not all of it's like brand new obviously but it's maybe stuff that I've just not got around to trying yet. So all of the um, kind of Stila dupes by Beauty Bay. Still not tried this NARS concealer. I've got some pigments by OPV. I got this um, Shimmer and Glow by Stila, which is like a really lovely light shade. It's called Freedom. Um, just some MUA stuff, concealers. This compartment is all Shop Miss A. I still need to do that video, so I'm keeping everything just together so I remember. I've got everything for a full face except eyeshadow, really annoyingly. I mean, this highlight looks so pretty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. And then over here, just other new stuff. This, I, I really want to try this. This is the e.l.f. Water Gel Moisturizer. It smells like watermelon. And they also have a matching primer. I've got a ColourPop, those crayon things. And also their body, is it body oil? Dry oil. Much prettier when you shake it up. Oh, and this finally came in the post from Amazon. I must have ordered this three months ago. Comes from America. This is the American Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And apparently it's incredible. So I finally got it. And then at the back, because I will not have done a video on this yet. This is the new Beauty Bay and Mitchell palette. I've played with it in my own time, as you can quite clearly see. I've already posted a look on my Instagram. And then this is the other side of the palette. If you want a mini review, I really don't like the packaging, but I thought the shadows were pretty darn good quality, to be honest. I'm not trying to be super quick on a review with that, to be honest. Right now, I'm not feeling inspired. Sorry, I need to sit down in any way to put makeup on my face on camera so I will do a video on it but I'm not gonna have it up timely usually I put these reviews up like the day things are launching 
I think this next one's really boring. Yeah. Beauty sponges and baby wipes. I don't wash them after I use them. I wash them before I use them. That's why they look manky. And then this drawer is a drawer of hair. <laughs> This is all an array of wigs and extensions, ponytail clippings, things like that. No! Bottom drawer, oh gosh. I'll not look in there. The top drawer though is a nice happy place. This is my eyelashes. Very much in love with this drawer. Very much. Probably best lashes are the Sosu Dubai lashes, like cheap, but fab. They're great, so I love that drawer to the depth of my soul. So that is this whole side, those two acrylic cases, and then this Ikea Alex, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drawer unit, this was 100 pounds. And then these other um, more narrow drawers, these are 50 pounds, I'm pretty sure. So to my right side, I have a bottle of my favourite as the sparkling apple and mango flavoured water. Great stuff. Okay, top drawer. You will hopefully recognise this from my declutters. So I got, well, I placed an order for another storage, acrylic storage thing. This one arrived today. No, it arrived yesterday, but I made it today. They sent me the lipstick organiser. So I've taken out all the inserts that go that way and just now I'm able to use it basically. It's not perfectly ideal because this back ones are quite high but I can still reach everything. So this has all of my highlights and blushes in it except highlight and blush palettes but this is all my like singles. Um, I've got a few palettes in here but small ones. <laughs> Favourite highlight of all time, I mean I only discovered it earlier this year, is Cookie by Benefit. This, I need to stop swatching this because I'm gonna run out. Look at it, look at it. It won't work on you if you're the fairest of the fair, but it is incredible. ABH Amrezy, that's a really good one as well. What other highlights do I love? Cheaper, Makeup Obsession, the Mega range. Like So I've got Mega Honey and I've also got Mega Lightning and these are incredible and three pounds. I really like my Ofra ones. I am yet to find a shade that is absolutely perfect for me. And I've tried all the light ones and I've tried some of the medium ones. I don't think they actually will match my skin tone, but I keep them because I do like them. Um, favorite blushes would be Benefit Dandelion, which I have a mini one, but because I have the pink cheerleader palette, it's got a dandelion in it, which is great. What else? I don't want to miss anything important. Well, one of my favorite blushes of all time is the NARS Jewel Intensity. This is in Adoration. I love shimmery highlighty blushes. I think they're very complimentary on my face. And a recent much cheaper discovery, see, because these are tall, it's hard to get stuff out. The NYX Sweet Cheeks are very very glowy and very very beautiful. I think a few of you bought this after I've raved about it so much. It's super 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 glowy and beautiful. Milani Coral Cove. Sadly broken but still gets used because I can't waste makeup. Um, Milani Luminoso as well. I mean it's not as glowy as I love but it is still a very beautiful blush. That's probably the main ones of note in that drawer. These acrylic inserts are from a brand, I'll put the name on screen. I will just say, like I did say to them today on Instagram when I realized that they'd sent me the wrong product, I was like, I'm really, it's really frustrating because I've been telling people to buy these because they fit your drawers perfectly and they're incredible. But out of four orders altogether to their brand, I've only had a 50% success rate. So. Um, my first one is fine, my second already came broken, third one is fine, and then this one they sent the wrong thing. So they are going to send me a replacement and I can also keep this one, which is good. But it's just a bit annoying because, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's not, not, not the biggest deal in the world. The second door down is my bronzers and some like single contours. This is the compact divider, so it's got 
all the little separate dividers. I just think it makes your collection look so organized and neat and I just love it so much. Favorite bronzers would have to be Benefit Hula Light. Bearing in mind I'm very pale, Benefit Hula Light is incredible. What else? Oh, I really like Fenty. In the Sun is my shade. Although I could probably go one shade deeper. Oh, and Light Bronze from Physicians Formula. Physicians. I have a lisp, if you didn't know. Very good, but very, 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 very cheap. I would say Natural Collection from Boots. Their bronzer is really nice. And also MUA Bronzed. Both of those are like under three pounds. And incredible. And my bougiest one has to be my, where am I? Where is it? Oh no, Hourglass. I've got one by Hourglass. You'd probably be surprised at the amount of Hourglass products I've had and decluttered and just given to my sister-in-law because she loves Hourglass but doesn't love spending the prices. Whereas if I get it sent to me and I really don't love it, then I'm quite happy to give away. Um, Too Faced one is still not used. Oh, Too Faced milk chocolate, incredible. And Nars Laguna. I just love this compact divider. This is what I ordered and didn't get. Oh well. So this next drawer is my face palette. And if you saw my declutter, you saw that they were arranged in my drawer very badly because I didn't have a storage solution. So what I did was I took this storage out of my highlighter drawer, put the lipstick one in there and then put this one in here. This is the palette organizer so you can see it's nice wide compartments. And I've got all my highlight and face and blush palettes in here. So I've got some by ABH at the back. I've actually taken the pins out of the drawer so I can open it all the way. So I've got some by ABH at the back. My favorite blush palette has got to be BH Blushing and Bally. This is like a dupe for Benefit Dandelion and their highlights are just outrageously good. <laughs> Look at that. What? ABH Dream Glow Kit, that's a favorite. What else is, oh my Too Faced Coco Contour. I couldn't be without this now. I was really humming and hawing about whether to buy it and when I eventually did, I was so glad because it is so perfect. These fair ones, like the two lightest ones at this side, perfect on my skin tone. Bit cheaper, NYX ones, I really like those. I've got the powder and the cream. This is my bougie NARS one that I've still not actually used. And Kat Von D, the fetish blush palette, I really like that. And also, oh, I really like my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette as well. So that is that drawer. You can probably see from what it was before, it's just so much nicer now to look at. The next drawer down, this is just where I've put my kind of better palettes that I could potentially sell. I'm not saying I'm selling these. I'm just saying I could potentially sell them and I don't want to give them to my niece because to be quite honest, I've given her about 200 eyeshadow palettes. She doesn't really need any more. So these will either go to other people that will appreciate them more or I might sell them one day. Please don't message me asking me to sell them, please. Please, please. So I've just got things like Alien, don't really care for it that much. Kat Von D Fetish, um, Naked Cherry by Urban Decay, Gingerbread by Too Faced, my Jawbreaker. I think a lot of people were very shocked when I decided to declutter this in my eyeshadow palette declutter, but I just don't reach for it. It doesn't inspire me. Very, very weird. But yeah, that's just what's in there. And then this bottom drawer is even more boring. Just stuff. I watch a lot of YouTube while I'm getting ready personally so my laptop always sits here and then in this top drawer we have all of my concealers and um, favorites would probably be I feel like I've got a claw hand from holding this camera. Favorites are I mean the Jouer one is my favorite. Full coverage yet hydrating. I can't get over how good it is. Also the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is incredible. I'd love to have acrylic 
dividers in here, but these are actually fine. This is Amazon. You get like a huge pack of these ones and I like them because they're not too deep. And it works fine, doesn't it? It's not a big deal. Um, drugstore favourites, what would that be? Probably Ellie Girl Pro Conceal, that's really good. And I was really impressed the other day, where is it? Yeah, I used the Elf Camel Concealer the other day and I was really impressed. I've not picked it up in a while, but very good. Oh, NARS, this one, the little soft matte, really good. So I know, well, I think I will. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the, the liquid one that I've still not tried. Oh, this one's really good as well. The Makeup Revolution Pro Camouflage one. That's incredible. That's like a dupe of the Bye Bye Under Eye. And if you want mega, mega coverage, the Huda Beauty one is incredible. And you get a lot of product. You get 10 mils in it. So that is my concealer drawer. Moving down, I kind of organised this a bit better. I've just put a few little like spare tubs in here that I have. So these are all my like primers and moisturizers in these two compartments. So like I said, the Peter Thomas Roth is a favorite. This is the water drench moisturizer. It's very expensive. This is almost 50 pounds, but I can't help but love it. I do use it sparingly, I will admit. And also <laughs> this one, Glam Glow Glow Starter in Nude Glow is incredible. And I've been really loving the e.l.f. Putty Primer recently. Um, and then this is just a bit of a mishmash, a few benefits, little Smashbox minis, um, Too Faced, Revolution Pro, Ardell, did I say benefit? NYX, this one's really nice, the, sorry about my pyjama knees. The NYX Bear With Me Hemp one's really nice. And then the Sawdust Lip Balms, Dr. Do Dr. Dr. Popple is probably my favourite, and a few lip scrubs. Although, the Revolution Pro Supreme Lip Relief, I do really like this. In fact, I need to put this in my thing, my little pill container that I've got, just to remember to use it. So yeah, that's my primers. Primers aren't something that I get excited about at all, to be quite honest. I just prefer moisturisers, so that is that. Looks a bit better. This drawer is my powders, so with a little bit of ingenuity, I took some of the dividers from the lipstick holder that they sent me by accident, and some of the spare ones from my other div dividers that I don't use, and I made my powders look neater, so at the back I've mostly got just like big fat loose powders, and then skinnier ones basically, although there are some fat ones in here. Favourites, I mean Laura Mercier Loose Trans, is it Loose Translucent? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Loose Translucent. I've even got a backup at the back there that you can't see because it's really dark. A cheaper favourite is the Makeup Obsession Pure Bake in Lace. That's really, really good. I'm really enjoying the Too Faced Born This Way press powder. You can pack this on and you will get a full coverage finish. I'm trying to open it one handed, it's really hard. You will get a full coverage finish like MAC Studio Fix, or you can just use it really lightly and just dust it on and just set your makeup. I really like the compact as well, I think it's nice. I also really like the Kat Von D one. Coty Airspun is incredible. The Hourglass one is incredible, just back there. Very expensive though. Oh yeah, I can pull this out further. Oh, the Fenty one. I absolutely adore the Fenty powder. Morphe Brightening Pink, this one's really good. This one I don't think I like, to be quite honest, but I'm keeping it for one more testing video. It's the newest Makeup Revolution one. Who does really nice? To be honest, I like every powder in this drawer. I like all of the makeup that I've kept, basically, because that's the point of doing declars. Um, there are some things I still need to try, like this spray Stila one intrigues me and I've still not tried it. But yeah, I like everything in this drawer. Oh, I mean, how can I forget? I've got to talk about Makeup Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Opalescent. The day I first put this on was the day my makeup game changed. I am not joking. This is a fiver. It is the same thing, but better 
then Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Just dust this all over your face and it just brings so much life. It's incredible. I've got it in two shades because I like it that much. So yeah, that's my powder drawer. Pretty happy with that. It's, it looks a lot neater than it did even in my declutter video. Second to last drawer, I have my foundations. This wasn't included as part of my declutter series because I hadn't quite decided to do my declutter series by the time when it came to doing this, but just pretend it was. So this, I do have a little bit of an excessive amount of foundations. I, I know that still, I, I do know that, but I use, I use them. Partly because I'm a cake face, so I will put like 10 pumps of foundation on, but partly because I, I usually do my makeup every day. So they get used and abused and loved. I promise you that. Favorite foundations would be the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. This is full coverage, long lasting. I would say natural satin finish. Still needs set, it's, oh my goodness, it's incredible. If you want major full coverage, the Jouer Essential High Coverage is incredible. Maybelline, Maybelline Superstay, I mean, an absolute staple in my collection. Really should have like cleaned up all my products prior to this. NARS Natural Radiant Longwear, this is incredible. This is a backup because I love it so much. The one I've been reaching for the past like four days when I've been just playing on my own doing my makeup is the Revolution Matte Base with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Wow! I might have discovered a new favourite combination and I'm dying to do it on camera just to show you how beautiful it looks. I've got two of those. I really like the Morphe foundation, I think that's really good. Um, oh, Revolution Pro. Foundation drops, very good. I like a lot of drugstore foundations as well as high end. I really like the MUA Pro Base for a fiver. The coverage is brilliant. Um, Makeup Revolution, that's the Conceal and Hydrate. I've got three of those. And my preferred one though is the Conceal and Define. I think that one is much better. And you might have noticed that this one has snuck back in because when I was going, like putting everything in a box, I was actually in a big Ikea bag. I saw this one, I thought, oh, Melissa, I think you should keep that. You spent quite a lot of money on it and you should at least try it once before giving it away to your niece. So I kept it. So that's, I think that's the only one that snuck back in because I really was serious when I decluttered. I didn't want to keep stuff that I didn't love or wanted to try. Oh, Ardell camera flash, that is incredible. So, so good and no one ever talks about it. And Catrice HD liquid coverage, incredible. Go on just my look and buy this. I promise you, you will not be disappointed or your money back from me because it is that good. I trust it that much. Again, this is probably not the most beautiful drawer. I've never seen like a lovely foundation drawer insert storage solution. So I'm just using my like Amazon plastic ones. They're all in there quite solidly and that's fine. And then this drawer here is just hair brushes, my hair bands. I'm a bit of a hair bandaholic right now. I got this one off eBay. It is so heavy. So heavy, trust me. But I thought that was really pretty. Um, and who can live without dry shampoo? I was literally just about to be like, wow, that's my makeup collection, but I haven't shown you my lip products or my eyeshadow palette. So we'll start with my lip products. So they are over here, like I've said, on the back of my unit. Um, it's a really weird angle for me because I can't stand up. So I've got quite a few MAC lipsticks at the front here. I've got some Charlotte Tilbury's. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I don't like the price point. Maybelline. Obviously, 981 or 710, really pale, really good. And then these are all ABH. I have many different shades. I've got all of them, I'm pretty sure. Although I did declutter quite a lot to my niece. So this top drawer, which 
doesn't want to open because the things on top of it are quite heavy. <laughs> I've had to take my stands off because it won't open because it's not a drawer, it's a flap. I'm stupid. This is lip glosses and then weirder coloured liquid lipsticks. Um, so I've got like greens and blues and very weird tones of purple. Um, I have an hourglass lip gloss. Yes, I'm posh. I actually was not going to keep this, but when I opened it to look at the shade, I then kept it and I don't like it, but now I've got it. So yeah, that's kind of weirder shades that I don't reach for this drawer as much, but I like to have options, you know me. And then this top drawer has my burgundies in it. I love burgundy, especially in winter. In Scotland, it's just it's perfect. One of my favourites is Dose of Colours. This is Talk is Chic. It's very, very, very beautiful. This Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Formula does not come off. Like, I would, I would wear this to meet the Queen because I know it wouldn't come off. I really like Colour Doing Tootsie. It's very dark, but it's almost black. Um, the lighting is changing. I love this NYX suede one. It's not quite burgundy, but it's purple, so I kind of thought it fitted in with my drawer, you know. So yeah, an assortment of burgundies. And then in this drawer here, I've got my nudes, which because, well, most of these are nude, and a lot of my ABH are nude, so that's why this drawer doesn't look that impressive, even though nude is a shade I obviously wear a lot. Um, Lottie London Slay All Day. This is in the shade Squad. Perfect. Um, Dose of Colour Sand is really, really cool. My favourite one is Jeffree Star I'm Nude or ABH Milkshake. I've got this new Stila one that I still need to play with. I've um, got some nudes by Ofra, Carity, MUA or something super cheap. This next one's really nice as well. What shade is that? Fetish. No shade. So that's my nudes. Mostly liquid lipsticks in there. And then in this section is my pinks. You know me, I love a pink lip. This is actually the lipstick I wore on my wedding day. This Clinique one. Shade number 11, Wow Pop. I don't use it anymore. This is, well, I got married three years ago, so it's over three years old, but I keep it for sentimental reasons. I really love this pixie one. This is in the shade, sorry, prettiest pink and it's gorgeous. But my favourites, I mean that is Queen Bee. That should probably be my purple drawer. My favourites are these two Too Faced ones. So this one is the shade, is it 19? No, this is the shade it's happening. Beautiful, love it so much. And this one is 1998. I mean, look at that colour. Wow. I love putting on burgundy and then ombreing it with a bright pink. And this Maybelline one looks gorgeous. I actually bought this for my sister's wedding and haven't worn it yet. I haven't even tried it. See? Don't know what it looks like on, but I love the formula. So that is my pinks. Oh, I really like Huda Bachelorette as well in the lipstick bullet. Well, these are my lip liners. I love lip liners so much, so, so, so much. I really like, I would say this is as good as any high-end formula. The NYX suede ones, they're so good. Pre-mark ones are incredible. I'm getting very short on those. Mm, what else do I love? MUA, they have really big liners. That is not it. <laughs> this one. MUA, I love their lip liners. They're so incredibly long. They're so cheap. And they're also just fab. Quality wise, I like Urban Decay, I like Huda Beauty lip pencils, Kiko, I just, I love lip pencils and I love having a variety to choose from. And then this bottom drawer is all reds, so that is a lie, these shouldn't be in there. This bottom drawer is all reds, uh, I've got a lot, I love Huda Heartbreaker, incredible red. I mean, to be honest, all of the reds in here are beautiful because you can't have an ugly red lipstick. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. This is my Fenty one. I really love that. 
I like my BAM ones, Kiko, this, oh this one's beautiful, Revolution Pro Stiletto, it looks like velvet. I also get lots of compliments and I wear this Technic one, this is in the shade Ladybird, it's so cheap, so cheap, so cheerful, that's actually Wild Child though, so this one must be Ladybird which is more red, that one's more orange. For how cheap those are, they are surprisingly good quality. Oh, I've not I have I used this one yet, my Tarte one. I don't even think I have. I've also not used this Pop one. They were on Superdrug online for what felt like two minutes and then they'd already disappeared. And this one is probably my favorite, the Dose of Colors. <laughs> it's not, why? I love Sarah E and ColourPop, Ariba. It's absolutely beautiful. Sorry, my camera keeps on focusing and it's making me want to scream. But yeah, I didn't actually declutter any lip products in this declutter because I'm quite happy with where my collection is. I don't think it's excessive. I think some people have like actual IKEA Alex drawers full of lipsticks. I've just got what I feel is a curated collection. These are just two Lipstick Queen lip plumpers, so they should actually live up here. Uh, maybe that's why I didn't do it. There we go, they can live up there. So yeah, this is, like I said, from Amazon. Cheap, but good quality, nice and thick. It is not as good quality as my Her Clutter box. However, they are like £200. This was like £20 to £30, so... It's up to you kind of where you want to spend your money but for me I love spending my money on makeup storage as well as makeup although I guess makeup storage is not allowed right now in my no buy I've got them kind of color color themed yeah they just live live up on top there and moving on to palettes, the last from our collection, I've got all, like I said, the ABH palettes, so Alyssa Edwards, Subculture, Modern Renaissance, Soft Clam, Norvina, Oh, what's that called, Prism, what's that called, I can't remember, Riviera, and Sultry. I'll just show you them quickly if you haven't seen them, so that is the Alyssa Edwards palette I can't open and show you every single palette I own but I'll show you these because I'm very comfy sitting down here Alyssa Edwards you might be shocked by how much I've used my subculture <laughs> subculture I really love that palette yeah I understand why people complain about it but I love it um this packaging if you put it in drawers with other makeup it just gets manky but I've also had this palette since it launched, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Modern Renaissance, as you can see, I have used and abused that palette. I like to use my makeup, it doesn't sit unloved. Soft Clam, can you tell that Tempera, 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 has been always been one of my favorite shades. I mean, I just don't know. Soft Clam is probably my least favorite of all of them maybe sultry as well. Norvina, this was a huge disappointment to me when I first saw it because I thought where are all the purples? But we obviously got that now but yeah I don't really reach for this palette much although I do like the quality of it. Prism was fun, I used that a lot as well. I've, oh my god that sphere shade. That sphere shade is just so cool. Oh my goodness, I love it. Never, ever, 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 ever reach for that anymore though, to be quite honest with you. Then we have Riviera. Yeah, I mean, I was really excited when I saw that they were branching out into more color when they were released this palette, but just something was missing for me with it. I love the pink and purple. But really apart from that, this palette did not blow me away. Nothing wrong with the quality, but I often find with ABH, the colour scheme is just not quite right. Although I love the quality of their palettes, like I've said. And then, last up, that's Sultry. Again, probably one of my least used ones though, as you can see. And yeah, that's my little dividers from Amazon. I just didn't take the sticker off the back. Fits a lot of palettes in it, I think it fits nine. 
pretty cheap. I think it was like six pounds or something and it displays your palettes really nicely. I just think it looks really nice in my backdrop, you know? It just looks cute. I didn't put them back in, in the same order. So let's now look at my eyeshadow palettes and then I think we're done, which is probably quite a good thing because I've been talking too much and when I talk a lot, I my lisp gets worse. I have quite a bad lisp. This is all the eyeshadow palettes I own. I'm very proud of how much I got rid of. Oh my goodness, I need to show you something really cool. If you watch my declutter, you will have seen that I had three um, magnetic palettes that held all of my ABH singles in it. Wait till you see this. They can go over there. In the Colour Drain Power Collection was this massive thing and I was like, what's that? Wait till you see this. How satisfying is that? How satisfying is that? Also, every single, single shadow that I had fitted in this. I didn't have to like get rid of one or anything. So that's all of my ABH singles in this massive colour drain. I don't have a banana for scale. There is an ABH palette for scale. Look how big that is. Wow. That's kind of blown me away. Very excited about that thing. I mean, it hardly fits in my drawer, but it's cool. Um, I'm not going to go through these in detail. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. I love eyeshadow palettes. However, I had way too many and I got rid of so many. I'll just point out my favourites to you just now. So, favourites would be easily Jeffree Star Blood Sugar. I've done many tutorials using that on my channel. Colour Drain Vivid Pigments. Incredible. This isn't a favourite, but it's new to my collection. And I'm very excited to use it. The Colourpop Rainbow one. They sent me the whole like, collection. Favourite Colourpop palette though is the Through My Eyes. I've used and abused it. I love this palette so much. Wasn't even expecting to love it as much as I actually do. What else? Oh. Bit of drugstore. Soft Does Nails Extra Spice. I mean look at that colour scheme for a drugstore palette. She did good. She did good picking those colours. Urban Decay Moon Dust is a fave. What else? Lottie London Living My Best Life. Really cheap, really good. Oh, I mean. Dose of Colours Friend Cation. This is my number one. Number one palette. Absolute favourite. I really like these Huda Minis. They're really good. These are my new Kaleidos. So many people were asking about these in the in my palette video that I did. What one is my favourite? I think this is my favourite one. It is just so incredibly beautiful. And it swatches like an absolute dream, so I can only imagine how it goes on your eyes. And that packaging is just so cool. It's quite an indie brand, I think. And hidden under here, well, I've got two palettes that are quite special to me. I've got my Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I've still not used, haven't even touched, because I don't want to touch it until I use it in a video. And that was from Emily. And then this one is from Nissa. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Both of them, sorry. If you're new here, those are lovely subscribers and Patreons actually. Anyway, Nissa sent this to me from Australia, so it, it broke quite badly and I've still not repressed it properly. So I treat that with a lot of love and care. And when I do repress it, I will then use it. Just quickly at the back, I've got the be Perfect Carnival XL Pro. All of these I show in great detail in my declutter. I've got my 39S, the purple one. Got my James Charles at the bottom there that I also really love. Again, like I said, go watch my declutter. If you want to see them in great detail, and then that's my Morphe Jeffree Star one and the new Norvina. And I think it's fair to say she took the criticism on board that there was not enough purples in her original palette. So she added a lot. 
And this is, I would say, the best formula ABH has ever done. Way better than those palettes. It's incredible. Truly is. It's very expensive. And I know that's put a lot of people off and they definitely won't buy it. But if you're thinking about it, then I would recommend it. This bad boy, I mean this bad boy just, wow it's so heavy. I've just had it sat in there like that. So that is it, that is my beauty room tour. There is a pan from just beside the door. I mean it's fine, it's not the most beautiful room in the world but it's very functional and I like my backdrop and I like my workstation as well. It's just ahead of my workstation, there's nothing pretty to look at but I don't really, I just look in the mirror. Because I'm pretty, I'm joking. I just mean I look in the mirror or watch YouTube videos so I don't really need anything on the wall. I am very lucky that we have a second bedroom in our flat. Hamish just let me have it without even a second thought even though he really wanted a gaming room at the time. He now has a box room which I say is his cupboard under the stairs like Harry Potter. And I have this lovely big room. <laughs> But yeah, that is it. That is my, my beauty room tour and my makeup collection. Sorry if this was a bit badly filmed. I can't stand up. I can't walk. I have a bad back. <laughs> and I am very out of breath because there's something wrong with my lungs because of my posture. That's why I was at the doctor about this morning. So that's why I'm quite out of breath when I'm talking. But hopefully you don't mind too much and that is, that is that. That's the that on that, as Robbie e. Christie would say. And I've got a nice leafy view from my window, which is only ruined by the scaffolding over there. But yeah, it's quite nice to sit on my kind of window box, especially when it's raining really heavily and just enjoy it. But this is where Lawnmower Man hangs out, just down here, because you can see it's quite dense foliage and uh, the birds because they eat the scaffolders um, lunch, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I thought you might enjoy just seeing some Scottish greenery if you haven't seen it before. So that, my friends, is my makeup collection. That is my beauty room tour. I know it is not the most beautiful thing in the world, but to me, it's quite precious. That's all that matters, really. Kind of, apart from the internet's really mean place. So if you did enjoy this video, it would help me hugely if you would give it a massive thumbs up. Um, it pushes my videos to people that haven't seen them before. Also give it a good, good comment because I reply to all of my comments. Um, I don't know why. Well, I know why I've started doing that, but that is not gonna happen forever, I can assure you of that. Not because there's too many, because I will always find time, because that's what anyone that only does this should be able to do. <laughs> um, but, but what was my but? But people are really mean, and I don't like replying to mean comments, because I just get really angry and say something that's not very nice in return. Like, I just tell them to off you know but I shouldn't do that anyway also hit subscribe because why would you not want to see this person on your screen again mm -hmm. and I will hopefully gosh that sun wow as always I want to say a massive massive thank you to my patreons you guys are incredible for supporting me in that way boggles the old mind some of my makeup that you've just seen was bought by you guys pretty much <laughs> for me <laughs> how does that work but thank you honestly thank you so much for your support it really does mean the world to me if you want to become a patreon the link's in the description box and you get early access to videos giveaways patreon only videos and a photo of my butt i'm joking you don't get that but um but but um Thank you, I am, I don't know what's happening to me. If you can't or don't wanna become a Patreon, think nothing of it. I don't expect you to. I am not that special. <laughs> Why do I look like the size of a house right now? <laughs> I can't take this, this, this seriously at all. And with that, finally, I hope I'll catch you on the flip side.
Bye. I think I took the wrong painkillers today. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around here, hi, my name's Missa and I promise you I am completely normal. My name's Missa and I am completely normal. Miss. You don't burp, you explode. Ugh. I am no interior designer, to say the least. I would say my room is actually fairly ugly. You had your lights in here. Hamish, I'm filming! 